To this day, it's considered one of the worst cable car disasters in history, but also one of the greatest rescue missions. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1978, the Chronicle reported on a tragedy at Squaw Valley. Amidst blizzard-like conditions in the Sierra Nevada, a Squaw Valley ski resort cable car holding 44 people came off its cables, plummeted 75 feet, only to bounce back up and collide with the cable that sliced through the car. The biggest tram car ski lift in the world, built for $2.5 million in 1969, had effectively become a death trap. Ski patrol, sheriff search, and an estimated 300 volunteers rushed to the scene, where shock survivors shivered against the snow while 60 to 80 mile per hour gusts whipped through the mangled cable car. Rescue teams evacuated the trap skiers one by one with rope slings. Sadly, despite a Herculean rescue effort and hostile terrain, four were killed in the accident. Another 31 were injured. The obvious question is, how did this happen? Well, two days after the accident, the Swiss-born engineer of the tram car, Hans Burkhardt, could only guess that strong wind hitting the tram car broadside caused the vehicle to sway abruptly, and perhaps one set of wheels may have pried the cable out of its slot as the car approached the tower. It was later officially declared an act of God. On December 31st, 1981, it was reported that Squaw Valley would pay almost $5.5 million in tram settlements. Okay, I want to know, were you or one of your friends or family members a survivor of the Squaw Valley cable car accident? And, and also, do you think enough has been done to prevent this from happening again? I would love to hear your story. Please leave a comment below or tweet me, Michael Callahan, at MCallahanTV, using hashtag ForgottenDaySF. I want to continue the conversation.